Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are progressing towards the cryptic crypt. Is there anything up here? No, no, we can't get up there. Explore around the bend there, just make sure there's nothing we're missing. There is something sparkling up there, so let's go up and grab this. It's a walker bin. Walk yeah, close enough. Ooh, giant crystal right there. And we get some iron ore, copper ore, and some more iron. Yeah, more iron ore. Very nice find. And yeah, we'll get into another bad or two on our way. It's because these guys annoy me, the lumpy wizards. Because they do that. That really hurt. Oh good, one lumpy wizard is down. Easy peasy. Uh, sure. Oh, treasure. Holy water. I don't really plan on using holy water, like, ever. And I feel- oh! There's another one of these locked red doors. There's a treasure in there. I want it. I should start, like, making notes about where all these locked doors and treasures are. So that way when we get the thing, I can come back and get them all. Now I have a group of lumpy wizards. Fizzle, oh, I was, okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna use Jace's, uh, well, I'm not gonna use Jace's sizz. Yeah, Fizzle, what that does, it's basically like the silent status. Veronica's just going to town on this guy. Uh, yeah, we'll fight a Bongo Drongo. Oh, he's teaming up with a Lumpy Wizard. I mean, I guess that's a turn where he wasn't attacking us. Oh, we can take him down in two hits. I'm thinking that preemptive seven we got on him uh, is what made the difference there. I should really heal up Eric. Uh, past gameplay me, you might want to heal up Eric. He's taking a couple whooshes. Oh look, we can get up here, but there's nothing up here. I, I'm just avoiding the place called the uh, Cryptic Crypt. I feel like it's going to have a cryptic command over me. Haha, <laughs> reference made. Oh, hey, new enemies. Uh, Drake Mages. Draft Mages. These are the upgraded versions of the Drakey enemies that we never fought. Uh, Sap. Oh, that's a problem. I should be using, yeah, Sizz. Hit all the enemies. Oh, good. 
knocked out two of them with that. Yeah, I'm finding that the group attack magics are better than... are worthwhile to use when there's groups of enemies. Now right, let's see what Another we get from one them. Bites the dust. 92 experience, not bad. Oh, green eye. I think green eye is some sort of crafting item. Yeah, we gotta heal up from that. And we'll explore this, well, this little short dead end before... Uh, before exploring further. I like that we have, we like automatically start with maps of the dungeons. That's a nice touch. Another green eye. I wonder what we can use those for. I see sparklies on the ground. There's some droll drones here. More iron ore. I'm not gonna complain about that. Yeah, we haven't fought a droll drone yet in this uh, in this video. We did fight them a bit last time. Oh, finally, for the first time, our uh, poison moth knives effect is kicking in, so it will cause the enemy to be paralyzed. It's a nice bonus status huh. effect. Easy. Usually in the Dragon Quest games, the Poison Moth Knife... Actually, it's a knife for mages, and or typically for mages, and it has like one attack power, but it has like a, I want to say a 25% chance of just outright, you know, killing an enemy. But apparently that's not what the Poison Moth Knight does anymore. Apparently it has attack power and causes paralysis. I'm okay with this. I was never, I'll be honest, I was never a big fan of the Poison Moth Knife in the other Dragon Quest games. I would rather equip rods on my mages to pump their magic attack capabilities. Or, uh, in some cases, like Dragon Quest uh, VIII, if you have a rod on your uh, mage, you can get, like, passive boost to not only your magic, uh, magical might, but also your MP, and you might get some other abilities, like, uh, absorbing some of the enemy's MP. That's a lot of droll drones. But it's really that Draggy Mage that would cause problems because it has the ability to use that Kassap, and I don't really want that. Decelerate, I'm not super bothered by that. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna assist these guys. Veronica, can you finish it? No, you can't. A spooky miss. Oh. Well, Eric has decided to go Super Saiyan to finish this guy. Totally unnecessary. And don't come back! You know, we kinda came to him. Alright, well, for the sake of not fighting every single monster battle, I'm gonna explore this down area. I'm guessing what's gonna happen. Ooh, big bristle leaf. Those are typically incredibly rare. I'm surprised we were finding them this early. I believe what they do is they will restore a dead party member with full HP. It's either that effect, or the they have the effect of fully restoring uh, the entire party's HP and status, and possibly MP. 
Uh, Jace is also Super Saiyan now. But I'm pretty sure it's the one that, that brings characters back from the dead. Uh, anyways, we're not going to use that anytime soon. We do need to heal up, though. And one thing that I I do kind of like about... Well, I kind of like it, and it kind of makes the game easier. Like, in the past Dragon Quest games, I think this was even true of 4 and 5 on the DS. When you level up your character, you, you just get a level up. But I know in Dragon Quest VIII, and I'm sure it happens in the remake of Seven for the 3DS, because those were kind of a pair on the 3DS... Um, when a character levels up, and it happens here too, when a character levels up, they restore all of their HP and MP, which is really nice. Uh, it encourages the use, more, um, more use of MP for attacking, which I don't mind that when I run into groups of enemies, I want to use this on them, or or constantly using the heal spells and just... Oh! Or Veronica can just use one of her single files and uh, give us FP back. That works too. Huh. Easy. Well then I'm really not going to feel bad about using heal. Yeah, we found one of the trap floors. Okay. Now I kind of know what they look like. Although, I doubt anyone would land on their feet from that. So yeah, we'll climb back up, and then we'll go back around... Trying to take things a little bit slowly. Ah, here we go. A, uh, Yggdrasil root. So let's see what this will show us. Ooh. One of those shadow things. I remember those guys from previous Dragon Quest games. They can be fairly powerful enemies. Ooh, I almost forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I forget my shadow if it wasn't so long. Can you even I trigger the falling into my own trap now, can I? Can you even what trigger the trap? You're, you're a shadow. Right. I better go the long way. Around. You can't just float over the aren't you floating over the floor? No. Okay, whatever. Uh, this one is just a basic vision of the past. It's not one of those things where we can, uh, like cobblestone, where we could walk around and interact with it. Maybe it's due to the different route. That looks like a trap floor. And again, so did that, really. Ooh. Mud mannequins. These are another new enemy to this to this cryptic crypt. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our pep up power here because I do like the scorched earth. It's a really cool power. As soon as this guy tries to take a turn, yeah. Okay, so he was saying... Well, this way takes us back. Probably to get that, uh, to get that one treasure that we couldn't reach from the other side. Here we go. A thousand gold coins. That is useful.
Uh, this... Actually, that leads to downstairs. Yeah, I should go explore the downstairs first. I know if we end up falling, we'll be down here anyways, but uh, this is actually a... Well, it's not... It, well, it's kind of a different downstairs area. We haven't been to this downstairs area. Oh, we have a sparkle enemy. Sparkle enemy, sparkle spot. Oh, a treasure. A feathered cap. And down this way, we have... Okay, this guy's just gonna get in our way. We'll fight him. Walking corpse and a draw drone. I'm more concerned about the corpse than I am the uh, slug there. But now that Veronica took that hit, I'm like, I can finish it off in one shot. So if we go to this side, we can actually unlock the door, because it's locked from the other side. So that opens up that branching path, but there's no reason to go back that way. Nothing in there. So I guess we can ride on the skeleton dog thingy. This guy's going to bother us, too. Oh, we got around him. Oh, there's a treasure there. Unfortunate adventurer. Huh. Find his trail and follow it, it will lead you to the surface. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a, uh... There's a sparkle spot. Chunk of iron ore. So, okay, so that must be the trail. So we can climb up those things with the, uh, ride armor over here. Skull Riders. And this is also a new enemy. These guys aren't that tough. Now we are going to use Sizz on them because they're a new enemy and I'm not fully sure what they're going to do. I'm not going to take as much damage as I would prefer from that uh, Sizz. But yeah, they can use Flinch to Flash. That's their, that's their thing. They used it on Veronica, so it really doesn't mean anything to me. And there we go. Oh, beast bone. And now we can ride the skeleton. Oh. I wasn't trying to get into this battle. Uh, we'll take out the drag mages first. Okay, we block that with our shield. Oh, Kassaf, that's what I wanted to not have happen. I was trying to take out that drag mage before it acted. Okay, now we just have to focus on the walking corpse. This is going to take a few hits, especially how, especially because we didn't get a preemptive strike on him. Just keep hitting him, we'll heal up after battle. I prefer to do my healing outside of battles, instead of like spending time in turn battling, if it's one as long as that's possible. Just because I'd rather spend turns using that character to attack and dish out damage and end the battle rather than heal up, get attacked again, and then have to heal up again. That's just my line of thought. So, yeah, we can climb up that. Okay, so this is where we had the vision thing. And so we can't go that way. We have to go... Yeah, 
That's that's going back. We have to this. No, not this way. No, oh, and I forgot to uh, pick up that treasure the first time. I'm sure someone has been yelling at their um, at their. I want to say TV screen. That that is possible. A computer screen. I'm assuming you're watching this on a computer. Um, about that, but yeah, yeah, I did, I did get it. So it's a good thing we fell back down. I don't know how I missed forgetting that. I saw the the scribbles, and then like, oh, I want to do the right armor, and I totally forgot the treasure that I was literally standing next to. Uh, actually, it. It would be fine to dismount. Yeah, this takes us back, but there's... Isn't there a treasure back there? And there wasn't a way for us to get it sooner. Yeah, I'm gonna dismount. This way I can get that preemptive attack on the enemies. Rubber gloves. Let's see what that does. Yeah, increases defense and deafness a little bit. Uh, does Eric want that? More? Yeah, Eric's gonna want that more because he has a second slot that's not being used. Oh yeah, the gold ring that we aren't supposed to use. We can actually make another gold ring with those two gold ores we just found. I'll do that, uh, at some point. This drag mage is just floating there. It bothers me. Oh, thank you, Veronica. And we got the paralysis off. All right. Veronica wins again. Sure. Uh, you really don't need the right armor anymore, other than just getting up from when you fall down. But I saw it here, and I'm like, oh, we can probably get something secretive with it. But I, I did end up finding anything. And I'm going to keep it off so that way I can do that. Because remember, you can't swing your sword while you're on a ride armor. Look at that drag mage before it casaps our team. Uh, terrible... Uh oh. What is that curse going to do? Nothing that I like. Oh no, don't do that. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of this one. He's already affected by the curse. Yeah. Uh, now this curse, I wonder if you have to... Nice! ...get this healed at, like, one of those, uh, churches. Wish that could be an issue. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough skill points to do anything. Yay, a mini metal. Whoa. Almost ran into that, uh, Drac Mage. Okay, so yeah, we have to come up this way. Ignore the enemies, make sure there's no treasures. I kind of had enough of enemies right now, especially because we're still going to be cursed. Uh, that's just going to make us fall down. Oh, there's a treasure over here. I want it. A silver platter. And nothing else over here. Alright, so let's take a look at the silver platter. Oh, uh, yeah, here it can't equip a shield. It is actually a shield-type item. 
As you can see, it's a little bit worse than our Scale Shield Plus 2. So there's no reason to equip that. Hi there. No, it's just this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's. This is the part where Fast Game is. Oh, he's still cursed. This is not good. And I don't have any items that can remove that. Uh, that's the other thing the Skull Rider can do. He can do his little sweeping thing. Basically, it's an attempt to knock everyone uh, off balance and uh, make them unable to act for a turn. Yeah, he's still cursed. So here I am looking at stuff. And realizing nothing is going to fix this curse. Yeah, yeah, there's the big Drusil leaf. Minerals, we've got. Oh, we have coins that we can sell. If I'm ever in need of money, I'll do that, but uh, until then, I'm just gonna keep them in my bag just as a, a kind of out of sight, out of mind sort of thing. Oh, we have a seed of defense that we haven't used. I should use that. And I'm kind of, uh, yeah, kind of surprised how close their defenses are, but I give it to Eric, and that gives him plus four boost, which was really nice. Well, none of that's going to help us. I guess we will... Well, we have a... That is a save point on the... Hey there. That is a save point on the map. We're going to have to dismount. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. I'm not going to complain. I can use it to uncurse you. Wait! Over there! <laughs> Let me guess, that's your sister. Serena, wake up! It's me, Veronica. Ah, uh, but she doesn't look younger. Mm -hmm. That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! Oh, she was just, uh, napping. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! <laughs> oh my gosh, that reaction. <laughs> what in the world has happened to you? Did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You but know. how would that even be possible? It's not like the monsters can attack her here since the <laughs> statue's here. Sorry to and the monsters wouldn't union, bring her to the but statue. Didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister. <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. I. But we don't it, get the same age anymore because, to well, Veronica. it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. 
I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my age. Oh, okay. <gasps> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. Well, maybe stop acting like a ten-year-old Okay, brat. we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want and to you do still act like about one. It? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. Oh, good. I like healing spells. Yeah, we're we're going a couple minutes over because of these cutscenes. It's okay. Ah, uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix our cursing. Oh, it restores our HP and MP. That's also very useful. All right, where's the one that fixes cursings? It's the, uh, of course, it's the. Basically the last one. No one's cursed anyone. Okay, whatever. The cutscene healed our curse. Uh, I'm going to drop a save here, and we're going to deal with those monsters uh, that are haunting Serena and Veronica next time.